Hey guys, Jose Villablanca here, and I'm gonna show you six simple tips on how to improve your lifestyle. Here's one. Now, when you make a shake, you wanna add more volume. What does that mean? Well, basically, I already blended this together, but if you just add a bit more time into blending it, it adds more air. And when you have more volume in your shake, you actually need less uh, of it, and you feel fuller faster, okay? So again, Make it blend a bit longer just so that you feel fuller and you need to basically eat less or drink less of the shake. Go ahead. Another great tip is visual cues. So with the, the example here of having the rubber bands on your water, you get a visual cue of how much water you actually need. Some people are visual learners and it's a lot easier to just have visual cues than just remembering in your head so that's one less thing to remember. Again, the, the uh, string, sorry, the rubber band is basically to remember how many more bottles of water you need to drink in a day. So right now I still have five rubber bands here. So that means I need five more water bottles to drink. Another great visual cue is, say for example, you're having chicken wings, hopefully the healthier version, big. You wanna keep the bones and the plate just so that you know how many chicken wings you've had. So that's a great visual cue, something that has uh, scraps after you're done eating. Another great thing you need to do to eat better and avoid munching on food or snacking is having a clear space around your kitchen or your dining table or your office table. You wanna make sure that you don't have food within arm's reach. It's been said that whenever you have food like chips or candies, or even health, healthy treats like nuts. You don't wanna have it within arm's reach while you're working, studying, or busy with something else because what happens is you start reaching for it and eating it unconsciously, subconsciously, or mindlessly. Another great thing when you're having meals is not to have any distractions. And I'm guilty of this sometimes, but I try to do it as much as I can. So hopefully you could build the same habit as well. Try not to have your phone around while you're having lunch or dinner or having a meal, you know, your iPad or even your laptop around. You want to eat consciously because when you actually do that, you take your time to eat, you chew better, which means your body can digest the food better and you actually can feel your body more and understand when you're actually satiated and not eating till you're full. Another great tip to prep your kitchen for your fitness goals is to basically stock on healthy food and make sure that you want the healthier options somewhere where they're easy to reach within eye level and for the uh, not so healthy food make sure that they're really up there and behind remember out of sight out of mind out of belly and not only that but um, same thing when it comes to the fridge as well so you want to make sure that you have the healthy options at the front and all the hopefully you know what, even as much as possible, you don't want to stock up on junk food. And if you really want to eat something sweet or salty, processed, then you'd have to go outside and get it yourself, which is one way of deterring yourself from doing that. It's just another step. You may think twice and you decide, you know what, I don't really need it. So that's another great tip that you can do to improve your lifestyle with the kitchen. And another thing too is that when you're, um, when you're not distracted, you, you take your time. And when you take your time, your body gives you enough time to signal that you actually have eaten enough. And not only that, but I forget. <laughs> um, oh, I remember. Okay, that's sorry. Yeah. Another thing is when you eat without distraction, you actually chew better. You take your time, so which means you digest it better. And another thing you want to do is plan your meals. On the weekends, try to do your grocery shopping. Shop as fresh as you can and prepare for the next few days ahead. When you do that, there's less likelihood that you'll actually eat crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, All right. And lastly, you want to surround yourself with the right kinds of people. When you do that, you gravitate to how they eat, you know, how they think, and their, their, their discipline towards health and fitness. And not only that, when you eat with people that care about what they eat, you actually eat slower. When you eat with people that are in a hurry and just want to get through the meal, then you're going to eat fast. It's been proven that if you eat with slow eaters, you, you, slowly, you eat slower and 
when you eat with people that eat fast, you actually eat more. So make sure you're surrounding with yourself with people that you aspire to become like.